The biggest problem with electric vehicle is its charging time. It usually takes up to 15 minutes to charge a car. What if I tell you there's a new battery that can charge 16 times faster than would you buy it? You probably will. And this is becoming true. Brisbane-based graphene manufacturing group just uh, discovered the very, very effective way of making making battery which is graphene aluminum iron battery cells it has 60 times faster charging capability than the current the best than than the best lithium iron cells and more importantly it has three times it can store three times as much energy as lithium iron cells so that's awesome 16 60 times six zero faster three times more density energy density and it can even last three times longer it sounds really unreal it really are sub real right but i believe even re when they really put into the production uh the number drops is not like 60, 60 times faster even if it's just 10 times faster it's still much better product so i'm super excited for that and so there he has some other advantages uh, for example in the lithium iron battery is kind of hard to recycle it has a very complex uh, chemicals and this graphene uh, aluminum batteries is very easy to is to cycle it's basically the carbon and the aluminum so it's very com it's a very common materials very easy to decompose to to deal with after you use that they're planning to make this to the market real soon later this year the coin sale they're going to make the coin sale to the market. It's not a battery for electric vehicle, but maybe it can be the, the batteries for your iPhone. It can charge your, your iPhone within 10 seconds. Within 10 seconds, that's insane speed. If this really make to the market and doesn't have other like side, like other downsides, it will become the most dominant form of batteries. I firmly, firmly believe that, and I'm super pumped for that. And they, how they make these graphene so powerful? If you just use graphene itself, it won't be able to do that. So they make holes in graphene, and they f use that as a way, those, those holes as a way to store aluminum items. So they, so how, how you, graphene is like this 2D structure, and they find a way to make holes, certain holes in graphene and they place the aluminum items into the holes. That's how they do that. That's a very technical thing. If you're interested, you can go and read their paper. There's a lot of content of material science, physics, and that's by doing so, you can have very, very high energy density. And the good thing is it also doesn't have like overheating, cooling problems when you're charging for the iron, lithium iron, battery sometimes when you charge it's very easy to get overheated and then this, this kind of graphene based battery doesn't have this problem and more importantly it doesn't it's not made of rare earth metal so it's easy to produce you can produce in a lot of uh, many different places compared to lithium iron it requires certain rare earth it's very hard to produce very rare in the world and also the lithium the lithium prices compared to the Aluminum prices is very different. Lithium price increased a lot in the last decades. It increased from 1,000 US dollars in 2005 to 13,000 now. So in 16 years, it increased almost tenfold. On the contrary, aluminum battery is just increased like 2x in the same time period. Now it's just 2,000. So we can foresee the cost of making this battery over the long run will be much cheaper maybe in the short run in the short term because of the production is not big enough you don't have the economy of scale uh, its price will be slightly higher over time its price will drop drop to much lower than lithium iron battery and not to mention you have 60 times faster charging time also three times more energy that it's stored in the same weight of battery and also it's easier to recycle more environmental friendly so that's just a sounds perfect thing to me it sounds too good to be true and i believe even usually when the when you publish paper your numbers will be really really good really really like a fantastic but when you put it in the production your numbers will drop 
I what I'm not worried about is because these numbers are too really really high. Even they just uh, even you just uh, trunk cut in half or you just uh, cut maybe one third, it's still much much better than the current solutions. So what do you think about this uh, new graphene aluminum batteries technology? They may change the electric cars companies forever. Also, you will change like. Uh, renewable energy, for example, solar panel, because solar panels, one of the bottleneck is very important part. It is very important part is battery. You need to store your bat your your electricity, and you we also make us have a faster charging iPhone. All right, so that's all I want to share with you today. If you would like to receive more technology reviews, don't forget to subscribe. Your subscription is really my best encouragement to make more videos like this. Other than that, take care. I will see you next time.